Hey guys, Butcher here for The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5, Part 2. Let's get into it, my boys. It looks like it's empty. Yes, it's empty. I thought so too. Now that he said that, I'm not sure. If it ain't, kid's gonna wish it was. Are we just gonna walk over? Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Можно идти. Там твёрдый. Say it, American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. If we just go real slow, it'll probably be okay. Yeah, no need to rush this. We need to spread out, just to be safe. Less weight, the better. Let the Rusky go first, since he's so confident. It's okay. We're okay. Don't worry. We got some walkers behind us. That's only a few of them. Should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. That's two less to deal with. Just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! <gasps> Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Well, they made it. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me it's too thin for both of us. I just I just gotta be careful. Oh, oh no! Stop! Stop! I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. I just gotta pull myself out. You need help, Luke. The ice is too thin. I got it. You need to help. No. Clem, go! Go help no, him! No, Clem, Clem, do not! go back for him! You're lying! You Stop do telling it. her that! Clem, look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn okay? Just give me a little time! Clem, you can make it, but you need to go! No. Clementine!
out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should get something. You okay? Thank you. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. <sighs> I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. <sighs> we'll be okay. Trust me. If you say so. I'm gonna find something to clean that up.
can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth the crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch it. Clem. Just be careful. What did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? You shouldn't have done that to Arvo. I know. I know, Clem, but, but Luke... I don't care. You can't do that. Jesus, Clem. You know me. You know I'm not like that. You scared me. You scared all of us, Kenny. It won't happen again. That's a promise. over but AJ needs us now we got to stick together on this thing all right come on let's see if the truck's gonna go my daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up he was a mean son bitch but he taught me respect girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. All right. Give it a turn. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's gotta be out there. Now, those rumors can't all be bunk. Sounds good to me. We're gonna make it, Clem. I know it. All right, turn it again. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. Want one? No, thanks. Do you remember when you saw me first? Back at the lodge? Check her for weapons. I liked you from the start.
You ever done something you regret? Even if it's something you knew you had to do? Go on. I wish I'd never looked for my parents. You know, I'll say one thing about Luke. No matter where you end up, there's always one bad seed rocking the boat. But I don't think he would have ever been that guy. Let me ask you something, Clem. When's the last time anyone did what you wanted? Ever listens to me. You know, I've been all over, run with a lot of people, a lot of men, and listened to a lot of promises. Ain't one of them come true. I'm starting to think there might be another way, you know? I'm gonna go take a piss. And Arvo wouldn't shut up, so I moved him in here. God damn it! I've seen that look before. Son of a bitch! Oh, damn. He'll be fine. Clem, he beat that boy within an inch of his life. We are way past fine. I know Kenny's a nice guy, Clem. I bet Carver was a nice guy, too. Once. Probably had a nice job, and a nice, pretty wife. Then all this happened. And one day, he caved some kid's face in and realized he could sleep at night. Kenny isn't Carver. He just made a mistake. All I'm saying is, start thinking about what happens if you're wrong. You two have known each other a long time. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide how much that's worth. I think it needs food or something. Seems like you've done that before. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. Clem, no. Hold it like this. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I think it's gonna puke. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it puked. It puked. Gross. There's not much left. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near DC. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. He was a douchebag. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. So we made it? Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. The look on her face.
she was watching a bird. Look, Clem. He got it working. Works? What I tell you. So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. We should head back south. What? We're kind of freeze to death. I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place. Was it that? Right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking they were like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? Kenny, it's freezing up here. I'm with Kenny. We should head north. Goddamn right. Clem. My friend Krista. She told me about Wellington a long time ago, Jane. It's out there. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we've got to help an agent. About our oh, the Rusty? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He's too dangerous to bring. At this point, you might be right. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, yes. some help he's been. He got blue killed. I gotta say, he helped the situation. But maybe if you eased up on it before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. About that kind of thing. Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle. Yeah, it mean there'll be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't call him a fuck now, can you? Haven't we been through a one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses clam? I'm going inside. God damn it! Kenny, don't listen to them! Better talk some sense into him. For his sake. truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, their big plan is to wander around in the woods. They ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Clem, think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee had across half of Georgia looking for you. A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. What you think he'd say? I think he'd tell me to not trust anyone, and to keep my hair short. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew, and what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? You know, 
When I first saw you back at that lodge, thought I was dreaming. And when you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up, uh, I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. Come on, let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. Just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? I feel bad. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey.
Alright guys, that's it for this video. Sorry about that little few minutes that I wasn't there to click on it, but I did. You know, hit the like button if you did. This subscribe button if you got Go to post to throw some stuff. Don't forget the notification bell to get all notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.